This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, this lecture is on Accounting Standard Number Ten: uh, Events after the Reporting Period. Now, let me explain what we mean by this. Suppose our year end uh, is the thirty-first of December. Uh, 2016. We've been preparing financial statements uh, 31st December 2016, but of course they're not prepared instantly. It takes quite a while to uh, actually complete the financial statements and then probably uh, auditors will arrive and they'll take quite a while checking them. So it can easily be several months before the accounts are completely finished and they're signed and they're sent to the state and so on. So suppose they are finally signed and complete uh, let's say on the 2nd of April 2017. Now, once they've been signed as complete and sent to the state, that's it. They're finished. But any time up to 2nd of April, we're still able to change the accounts. And so what we're talking about here is anything that happens between those two dates. If something happens between those two dates, oh, Perhaps in January you find a big mistake. Well, the question is, are we going to change the accounts or aren't we? The financial statements. Now, I'll give you examples in a moment. But um, we give them names. If it's what we call an adjusting event, We will change the financial statements. And so I'll give you several examples in a minute. If we found a mistake, if, I, if in January I discovered there was a mistake of 10,000 in the double entry, you know, a mistake we'd made last November, well, of course, I'll change the accounts. It's an adjusting event. However, the other time, a non-adjusting event. Oops. Uh, this is something, and again, be patient until I give you examples, but a non-adjusting event we do not change the financial statements. Uh, but if the amount involved is what we call material, if it's big, then we will attach a note to the statements explaining we disclose by note. That's the expression. Attach a little note to the financial statements. Disclose by note if material. Now, material means big, but there's no definition of what's big. It depends on the size of the company. Uh, you know, open tuition is uh, pretty small, so, you know. A thousand is big for us and would be material. Uh, on the other hand, for one of the major oil companies, they're making hundreds of thousands of profit. A thousand to them is tiny. It's not material. So we've got these two types of events. Depending on uh, what it is, we might change the financial statements. It's an adjusting event. Or we might not, it's not adjusting, but again, if it's a big thing, then we'll write a note about it. Remember what we're talking about. 
anything that happens between the end of the accounting period, in my example, December 2016, and when the accounts become final, there's no fixed time for that. Uh, suppose it was set in the April 2017. So let me give you a few examples, and I'll put dates to it. So again, our uh, year end, 31st December 2016, uh, the statements become final. on the 2nd of uh, April, 2017. All right, what about this? Firstly, uh, on 1st of February, 2017, uh, rather, our factory is destroyed by fire. Uh, and it was in our um, uh, financial statements at uh, oh, a million. Would we change the financial statements or not? Now, the question you ask yourself is two things. Firstly, at 31st December, when we're doing the statements, did it exist or didn't it? Well, of course, the factory did exist. It wasn't destroyed until the 1st of February. And secondly, if you'd have known what was going to happen, would it change how we showed it in the statements? And the answer is no. You see, we need to show uh, that the factory at 31st December 2016, it did exist then, and so we're not going to make any changes. It's a non-adjusting event. However, I think by anybody's standards, a factory worth a million uh, is big, and so you, we would disclose by note. So it can still appear in the uh, central financial position, but there will be a note, and the note's reasonably detailed. It would say, on the 1st of February, the factory was destroyed. Uh, its carrying value in the statements was one million. Um, it was insured. We expect to get 750,000 from the insurance company or whatever. Next one, what about this? An error in the bookkeeping was discovered. Uh, that was made in November 2016. There'd been some mistake in the bookkeeping. Would you change the accounts? Well, of course you would. We didn't discover it until, oh, I'll put a date to it, 1st of March 2017. That's when we discovered it. But were things correct at the end of December? No, they weren't, because there was a mistake in uh, November. It's an adjusting event. Uh, next one. Included in inventory were items at cost Of uh, ten thousand. Oh dear, what's happened there? Something's happened. There we are. Including items, uh, including inventory, were items at a cost of ten thousand. They were sold on fifth of January two thousand and seventeen for eight thousand. 
It's not just an event. Well, the inventory did uh, exist at 31st December, no problem. However, we should value inventory at the lower of cost and net realizable value. We valued at cost, but it turns out they were only sold for 8,000, which is lower. And so we should have valued the inventory at 8,000, and therefore it is an adjusting event. Now, before anybody complains, uh, it is possible, of course, that as at December, they really were going to be sold for more than 10,000, and maybe on the 4th of January, uh, something happened to damage them, and then they were worth less. Well, if that was the case, you know, if the reason they were being sold cheaper was because of something that happened after December, then we wouldn't adjust. But I think we'd assume there, and you certainly would in the exam, uh, that they weren't damaged later, that, you know, they never were going to be sold for more than 10,000. It always was going to be eight. So you would adjust, you'd reduce the value. Uh, what about this? Now, some people don't like this, but it's common in the exam. On 3rd of February 2017, one of our customers went bankrupt. Um, as at 31st December, they were owing 50,000, uh, and they've not paid us. Would we adjust or not? Well, what you say to yourself is this, first of all, did the receivable exist at 31st December? Of course it did. You know, and we're showing 50,000. Had you known at 31st of December that they were likely to go bankrupt, would you have still left 50,000? And the answer is no, you wouldn't. Because if you'd known they were about to go bankrupt, um, you'd either have written them off as irrecoverable, or at the very least, you'd have had an allowance for receivables. Now, OK, they haven't gone bankrupt in those December, obviously. But they did go bankrupt later. Had we known that that was likely to happen, we would have shown things differently. This is an adjusting event. Uh, what about this one? Uh, on 8th of March 2017, we issued uh, 500,000 new shares. at $2 each. Would we adjust? Well, no, we wouldn't. As of 31st December, we'd have been showing uh, what shares were then in issue. This happened later. But because the amount clearly, uh, I think you'd agree, is material, although you won't adjust the accounts, you will disclose by note non adjusting disclosed by note. Now, I won't go on, I think you've got the idea, and in fact, those examples are most of the examples they ever use in the exam. Uh, but there we are, I mean, learn the terminology, obviously. Adjusting, you change the financial statements. Non adjusting, you don't change the statements, but you attach a note. You won't have to write the note, don't worry. But you're expected to know you would write a note uh, stating what had happened in the amounts if it's material. Uh, and again, appreciate 
We're only talking about change, potential changes, things that have happened between uh, the end of the accounting period, the date of the financial statements, in my example, 31st December, and the date the, exam, uh, the, the statements become final. Because once they're final, and as I said at the beginning, once they've been signed and sent to the state, then, of course, it's too late. We, we can't change anything anyway. Uh, the, the statements are finished. Okay, 